Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are finally getting into my December plan with me. It is about a week late. I had a terrible illness, um, just like the common cold, but it was awful and I lost my voice and I'm still kind of suffering, so I'm sorry if my voice isn't normal or doesn't sound right. It's I'm still getting over this terrible sickness. So. December is probably one of my favorite months of the year, aside from the blistering cold. I just, I love the holiday season. It reminds me that there are still good people, and um, most people are very into giving and sharing and thinking about others before they think about themselves. Um, and I just, I love the holidays, and maybe a lot of that comes from having kids now, but um, I just love it. But um, for the month of December, I did go pretty, I wouldn't say minimalistic, that's not really what I did, but I kind of took a step back and reevaluated what I was doing. Um, I, I kind of switch things up every month or two, and some months I go really crazy. If you watch my November plan with me, I put quite a bit of time into decorating, where this I feel like... I went a little bit quicker and just kind of added some really simple, easy doodles to add some color and give it that, you know, bit of holiday touch, but I didn't go all out and spend a ton of time decorating um, because I do, I'm really focused on making my journal more efficient and functional. I actually wrote that in my weekly notes recently that I need to be better about efficiently using my planner because I find that if you're just writing things in there and then you're never doing anything with them, it's not really benefiting you and that's kind of the point that I was getting to and I was just writing things in, whether it be um, just take a picture on Instagram or just to actually write them down, but then I was never referencing back to them and it wasn't helping me. So this month I am doing a big calendar, which I don't normally do, but for me as a blogger and as somebody who posts on YouTube, um, I wanted to do it this way and try to use this as like an editorial calendar. So I'm hoping to plan out at least a couple weeks worth of content um, in advance so that I know what I'm going to post and so I know what I'm working on and about how long it's going to take me and just so I can better plan my days. Um, it puts me in a better state of mind knowing that I can hang out with my kids and plan my days so that I am still being productive but not taking away from time with them. Um, so I did this a little bit bigger and I'll have room for some pretty small simple notes um, and then along the right hand column I just have a spot that I'll have for like open notes and ideas whether it be blog post ideas or YouTube video ideas or what I need to do in the future. Um, there's a lot to do in December. I have to change my name over. It's been how many months since I got married? <laughs> like six. So I have to change my name over, which also includes changing over a ton of other business related documents and banking details. And it's just a pain in the butt. So I have a lot to do this month. Um, and so I really needed this extra space. and. My theme for this month, I don't really know what it ended up coming out as. I just feel like it ended up <laughs> looking kind of like abstract art. But I was kind of going for um, like a winter wonderland feel. Um, I'm gonna actually, I was inspired by my own work. Does that sound egotistical or what? Um, I've been working on some printable packs for my shop on my blog and they are um, kind of December and January winter wonderland inspired. So um, the color schemes and some of the little doodles are kind of from this pack that I've created of printables. If you would like to check those out, I will leave a link to my shop in the description. I actually don't have them in my shop yet, but I hope to have them in there later today after I upload this video like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you think that I'm kind of funny or kind of talented or kind of insightful um, please subscribe to my channel um, I've got some big goals this year and I'm really hoping to post more to YouTube I I really enjoy this platform I just video is not my best skill yet but 
I'm working on it guys I promise I'm working on it and I'll get better so I would appreciate the like and the subscribe if you haven't and thank you to all of you who already have and also while I have just a minute here while I'm doodling and whatever I want to say thank you to everyone that came out to Pinners Utah last month or this month at the beginning of November it was amazing and it was my first time doing public speaking and I was a little nervous actually but everyone in my workshop was super supportive and I really appreciate it. It couldn't have turned out any better and I look forward to doing it again, maybe hopefully next year also. So this is my habit tracker and goal page. Now my habit tracker, it actually kind of scared me when I very first drew it up because it's so small. I think in total I have seven seven habits this month in comparison to 14 so I cut a whole bunch of them out and it's not because I don't think they're important it's because I feel like a lot of them I'm just doing anyways and I'm I've created them as habits um, so I no longer need to really track them just because I'm I, I'm doing them every day or at least 99% of the days of the month. Instead, I decided that I was just going to pick out habits that were going to help me better accomplish my goals and that I'm more focused on to track this month. So I am tracking my workout. Ooh, there's a spider. So I'm tracking um, the times that I work out and do yoga and making sure that I track my calories and that I'm eating healthily. Um, and then writing 500 words a day. Um, I'm kind of making this a goal for December, obviously with some days off for the holiday, but for the most part, I am trying to establish a habit of waking up every day and writing 500 words on my Instagram because I've really been sucking it up at posting to Instagram, um, intimacy with my husband, and then reading or listening to podcasts for personal development. So the big thing here um, that's I'm going to address because I feel like it's important and everybody goes through it is that when I did this, the thing that's scary is that these are also the habits that I'm not filling in as often in my previous habit trackers because they are the hardest to accomplish. They are the ones that are getting me to my goals, but that I'm still struggling with. That's why I have them in a habit tracker to keep track of them and to better accomplish them. But of course, what the scary part is, is like, when I look at all my other habit trackers, they're mostly full because I had at least seven rows of things that were continuously being accomplished. And now I just have this little habit tracker with seven things that aren't normally accomplished as often. So there's gonna be that like, uh oh, is it gonna be empty space? Um, I hope not, I hope that with a few less habits, I'll just be able to really focus in on those um, in the month of December. So then again, I am doing my weekly check-ins. I don't know if you guys have watched all my videos or if you've watched them, I've been doing these now for a couple months. Um, they are one of my favorite parts of my journal right now, at least of my monthly setup. Just It gives me time each week to honestly reflect on myself and how I'm doing um, with my goals and with my family life and work and my health. Um, so I just kind of take a couple minutes to reflect on all those things and then it kind of helps me better set up for the next week with my goals. And then I also have my stats page on the right, which I have now been doing for a couple months also. Um, in November, I wasn't quite as diligent about it and so I know that there were a couple times where I'd go like three days and I'd go to fill in like my mood and my productivity and I pretty sure I just kind of winged it. Um, which is not what I want to be doing. I do want to be actually looking at this page and using it efficiently and filling it in each day to the best of my knowledge because um, it just obviously it helps me do my best. So um, again, you guys, if you've watched my videos, you've seen this page. Nothing has changed on it. This is an exact replica and it's super easy to make. If you want to add this, I get a lot of people who... Um, comment and say that they want to add the stats page into their journal and it's just you know a simple um, grid and then you can choose what you want to track in there a lot of people are using them for uh, health so whether you add in like your steps in your daily workout or calories burned or calories ate 
um, you can add in a lot of that. So I am probably way behind on actually setting up my 2019 journal. Um, I don't know who all started, but I remember in years previously I started like mid-November. And can we talk about the fact that I'm flipping off the camera half the time whenever I'm like drawing? I'm really sorry about that. I'm working on making sure that I am using two fingers to hold down my page and start steady myself. So <laughs> sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm way behind. I haven't even started. But I am just using this journal. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I need to get like my goals page and my master list and my future log all set up. Um, plus some of the other pages that I'm going to be using. So what I wanted to say was if you guys would be interested in seeing how I set up a journal for the new year and what pages I add, please let me know in the comments so that I can make that video for you. I would love to. And also just kind of let me know what else you guys want to see. Do you want to see doodle tutorials? Do you want to see um, tutorials with specific products? Do you want to just see page layouts? Like what do you want to see on my channel? Um, I'm kind of just feeling the waters here because YouTube's never been my main platform, but I'm really enjoying it and I would like to make it part of my main platform. So um, a lot of that is dependent on you guys and I would love to know your opinions on the matter and what you guys would like to see and what would be most beneficial to you guys. So let me know and I will try and start working on some more video content for you guys. So um, anyways, this is going to be my finance page. Um, in my November setup, I for the very first time did like a actual budget page and a spending log, which was supposed to kind of help me not spend as much, but I feel like like looking at my spending log and how full it is, I'm like, oh, I can't believe that we've actually spent this kind of money like on stuff that we didn't probably really need. But I know that in December for holidays and gift shopping and shopping for food, um, I'm gonna have a lot of shopping and a lot of, a lot of spending, honestly. Um, so it's nice to just kind of have a budget to watch how those things fold out. So at the top I have my income. Um, there's a lot of space there because as a blogger I have a lot of different little income sources. They may not be a ton of money but they all add up so they come from different sources and at different days of the month. So I just like to kind of keep track of how much money we're pulling in versus how much money we're spending. And then on the bottom Last month I just wrote out all my bills and then their due dates and then this month I decided to create this mini calendar and I will fill it in with my bills and the due dates um, and I don't necessarily really need this because I've been taking care of the finances in our family for uh, since Chris and I were together so uh, eight and a half years and so I'm pretty good about paying all the bills on time and a lot of them just come out on their own. Um, but it's nice to be able to see when things are due and just flip back to that and know like exactly how much money I have in my bank and exactly how much my bills are going to be. Um, it's just, it's helpful and it kind of relieves my financial anxiety that I get when my bank account drops below a certain amount of money. I just kind of freak out and finances have always been one of my biggest stressors. So um, actually having this page has helped me just kind of de-stress and just know that it's going to be okay. So for this page I just track um, my income and my bill due dates and then the next couple pages are my spending log. So the spending log is set up just like last month. Um, so I've got room for the date in which I make whatever purchases or spend money however it is and then the place of purchase and purchase like what it is and then I have a color code, which I am gonna change this month because my color code last month didn't work out very well. It was just too vague. Um, and then the amount and the method of payment that I used. So whether it be a specific credit card or a debit card or cash or check, um, something like that. It just kind of helps me know how we're spending our money. I try not to spend a lot on credit cards, but apparently, 
according to the adults. Um, it helps if you do spend some money on your credit cards and then pay them off. So this has kind of helped me do that. And it also helps me track um, my business expenses and our grocery expenses. It's nice to see how much we actually spend on groceries in comparison to what I think we spend on groceries. Um, and it definitely helps me better budget for the next month. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. It's not all happening at once, it takes time. But having a spending log has definitely helped us. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of keep going with it. And I use approximately four of these pages a month, but I don't set them all up at once just because I get busy or I have other things to do. So I set up the first one and then as I need the others, I add them in. So I leave some pages blank on the next couple pages and just kind of write in pencil like spending log. So I know to save those pages for the rest of my spending log. So that kind of completes my December setup for now. I usually end up adding a couple pages, but check out my Instagram if you would like to follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful December.